today I went to Thinker Toys like I did yesterday. It's kind of a trend. So every few months, I'll withdraw a little bit of money, go to the toy store and get one toy, and then go back the next day if I see something else. And I saw quite a couple of things that I actually wanted for quite a while. First is this uh, Land Rover that I've been actually wanting this for a few years. And I just never got enough courage to purchase it until I saw it. Yesterday at the toy store, when I was purchasing the Bruder UPS Mercedes Sprinter truck, I saw this, but I couldn't pick, so I just bought that truck. And then today, I was lucky enough to go back there and purchase it. So this thing's pretty cool. Full functionality. So I'll show you what that is in a second. And I wanted a, this dump truck also for quite a while. Um, the price was $54.99 for the dump truck. And for the Land Rover, $46.99. Now, Thinker Toys is a very, very popular toy store in Portland, Oregon, and I really do like that place. I go there only for the Bruder products, but hey, there is a store that does sell these. So, And then I got this cool excavator because I've been wanting a Bruder excavator for quite a while. And they had a couple options. They had the cat one, but that one wasn't big enough. But this one seems to... This one was also cheaper. The cat one was like 50 This one was only 45 so, I get to finally experience what a Bruder Excavator functionality is. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I got a conveyor belt, too, because, you know, why not? It'll go great with a dump truck. So, got this crank here that you can turn the belt with it. And then this knob will angle it. So, I'll show you all the vehicles on this video here. It might be a little longer than anticipated, but I'm just trying to get all the details so we're gonna open the Land Rover first because I just cannot stop waiting to unbox this so I'm actually going to do this right now here's the front Land Rover it's the 16 scale as all Bruder products are side in the back we have this pickup truck already that one I don't really want it right now but I wanted this really bad and I think this the roof on this is removable. It doesn't say that it is, but I think the entire roof is removable. Yeah, this is some of the functionality. The seats come out, the hood opens, kind of like the uh, Jeep. So yeah. yeah. So if you're in the Portland area, I highly recommend that toy store for younger kids. Uh, because they have a great selection of Bruder. If they're into Bruder, then that's probably a first go to it's a really good place why it's stuck oh because it's stuck in cardboard wow this thing's pretty heavy and you can see here this little steering wheel thing here this thing you insert it in the roof and that's how you can control the wheels from the top rather than grabbing onto the steering wheel and driving it around like this that's how all these uh smaller vehicles function this was manufactured in 2010 this is an older one it's got suspension and the hood can open and you got this little pin here that maybe I can get out this little pin here right here and that actually holds the hood open but it stays open perfectly fine without it, but nice to have. And the back can open like so. So I think all the doors are removable too. So the doors can all open. The, yep, doors can open. And you can see the steering wheel. I'm gonna get over here. It is indeed connected to the front wheels. And now I actually want to try to see if the roof comes off. I've seen it in other Land Rover models, so I was just going to assume that they're all the same and they have all the same functions. Let's see if the roof is removable. It actually looks like it will pop off. We just got to take the back door off first. I don't know if the back door comes off. Oh, yeah, there we go. The back door is removable. Uh, maybe the top doesn't come off on this one. I think it probably would. Just that I'm not 
Oh, does the rack on the top come off? I've seen that. Oh yeah, the rack is removable. But I'll leave it on there, but I just wanna just wanted to know if it's removable. Yeah, the rack's totally removable. And how does the roof come off? Yeah, it looks like the roof is removable. I'm just trying to figure out how it comes off. You know, push a button or something to pop it off or something. Because I do not want to break this. Oh, maybe just pull it. Yeah, I don't think the roof on this model comes off. Nah, it looks like it... I'm, I'm actually still confused that it may not be removable. But if it is removable, I'll make sure I mention it later on. But it looks like it's just stationary. But the functionality is immaculate. I mean, you really don't get much more for $40 for Bruder products. Now, how do the seats come out? The rear seats can be removed. I'm just trying to figure that out. Uh... You know what, uh, I'll figure all this out off camera, but, you know, just wanted to get it unboxed to show you guys how cool it is. If I can get the back door back on, that'll be good. I gotta twist it back in. Oh, there I got it. There we go. Got the back door back on. And I think the spare tire the spare tire comes off. That's actually nice. So we got a removable spare tire. And I'm gonna leave the rack on because it just looks cool with it on. This is a really nice toy. I'm glad that I bought it today. So yeah, let's see what we get in the box. Oh we get a, a thing. I guess the guy who owns this car, oops, the roof came off. The the uh, rack came off, sorry. Roof didn't come off. But it looks like the guy who owns this car plays the saxophone. Because the license plate says sax. What a coincidence. Maybe my friend Micah drives this car. He plays a trombone, but, you know. That's kind of funny that they made it. Was that intentional or is that just a coincidence? I'm not... And also, the rear door doesn't have a window in it. A window pane. Anyway, I thought it was going to come with a little booklet of whatever year this came out, but it doesn't have one. Maybe it has those, like, mirror stickers that some of these come with. But they're not in here. Looks like that's it for that one. Now we're going to open the uh, conveyor belt, because I'm actually really excited about this one, too. And on the back, I'm still trying to find this Scania low loader. I've never been able to find it in the store, but I think I might have seen one on eBay. So I might buy that later, but not right now. Maybe in a few months. So this knob, you turn these knobs here to raise it up like this. And go up pretty high and then underneath you get a little hitch which is underneath and so you can hook it up to like the dump truck or something then you just lower it back down you hook it up to the dump truck and you can you can tow it along wherever you want it I actually I actually want to try this out so the brooder Land Rover has a hitch oh yeah look you can just have your little Land Rover towing the conveyor belt wow look at this it's kind of kind of cool so actually, I have a dump truck that I could probably use with this. Oh, that's probably what this, you can fold it underneath when you're like using it. It goes up maybe like, goes up a foot. That's how high it goes. And let me just grab a dump truck real quick. 
I have so many brooder trucks, so I'm not short of anything. Here, we'll use this one. This dump truck here. Now we're gonna put this on it. And I got the crank here that you turn. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Turn this crank. And then you'll see it fall into the truck in a second. There it is. Works flawlessly. I love this thing. Definitely worth $40. This thing was made in 2008. Man, these are older than I ever anticipated they would be. Conveyor belt's really cool. I have a lot of brooder trucks and the driven ones. So those are the only toys I buy in the future. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this truck. This dinosaur truck, because I don't want this. Actually, I have a friend who really likes dinosaurs, so I'll give this to him when I see them again. Since I am graduating out of that program this year, I want to give uh, them away so they can remember me. I'll give them this truck. Since they love dinosaurs, I'll make sure and fit their interests. So... I'm gonna open this man TGA dump truck. I've wanted this for a while. So then on the back we have a logging truck, fire truck, crane, recycling truck, and a cement mixer. We have the crane, then the dump truck. The logging truck's pretty cool. But I haven't seen it in the store. But I know what color the cab will be now. <laughs> what it'll look like. Maybe this will have the uh, little booklet of all the products, what year this came out. Look at 2002, look it just rolls right out of the box. Oh, it does have a little pamphlet, that's good. Let's see what year it is. 2022, great, I have too many of those. It's just a little, I always throw these things in here, I don't know why, it's just a waste of paper. But yeah, I have a driven dump truck, very similar to this one, but I like this one too. Um. So it dumps. Look how easy this dumps. Oh, look, this part isn't attached to the thing, but we can we can fix it. This is the uh, thing where the logging uh, arm would go. Oh, um, where does this thing go? This isn't connected. What well, probably goes in there? Yeah, this. Yeah, they just didn't attach this. This is. Not supposed to be like this, but I think it's easily mendable. They didn't do that. Oopsies. Oh dear. <laughs> this is going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> oh man, look at this. <laughs> this is actually... Oh, does it not? Oh, it doesn't shift. Oh, it's actually not supposed to. It's not supposed to lock in place. That's just how it, uh, you just pull this down. Okay, now I see how this works. This was intentional. I thought it was broken, but no. It was actually on, on purpose. So you gotta manually lock it up. That's okay. I mean, that is kind of how cheaper toys are made. But I mean, I like it. I like it for what it is. And it even stays up without it. And you can also tilt the cab forward. Yep, the engine. I thought this thing was broken, but no. It, this is actually the way it was supposed to be. And the dump bed. I just like the design of this one a little bit better. The design of it. The door is a little bit smaller, but... This thing just fits my aesthetic slightly more than the driven one, but the driven one has more functionality. Just keep that in mind. When, and this one is 55, but the driven dump truck is 40. When I bought it, it was only 35. But this thing is so cool. I'm really glad that I purchased this because it'll go great with the conveyor belt. In fact, any of the dump trucks I have go great with it. So you, can just put it there. you know what? We'll, you know what we'll do is we'll tear up all the cardboard and then put it on the conveyor belt and load it into the dump truck. That's that's what I'm gonna do after I unbox all this. But yeah, you can. Fine, I'll put the little booklet on there and see where it goes. I, I think this is really high quality. Bruder is a really great toy company. 
So if they're watching this video, just know that I love all of your products. And also they commented on one of my posts that I tagged them in. It was the brewer UPS truck. I finally get a what I, I I finally get a taste of a brooder excavator for the first time. I like it because it's wheeled. I I I like the tracked ones too, but this these were the ones that they had. They didn't have any tracked ones, at least not the size that I wanted. Let's just load it up. All right, now I'm actually curious. Oh wait. Use this lever. This lever moves the scoop. And can lock it. Can you lock it in place? Is there a way to lock this? I'm not sure how this works. I've never had one of these before. Well, I know that this little scoop, this little plow thing, can move. sure how this thing locks. Is there like a special... Oh, there's an instruction booklet. No, this is not the instructions. Oh well. I don't really need instructions. I can probably figure out how this thing works. Uh, let me just... It would have... These are fake stabilizers. Manufactured... Uh, in Germany? That's obvious to me. Oh, there I locked it. Oh, you just had to pull back on it. There we go. Now it's locked. What does this little thing do? Oh, that just probably keeps this thing in place. And I forgot to show you that it does rotate. It rotates as it should. And I want to try this out. I want to rip up some cardboard real quick. Rip up some cardboard here. I'm just going to drive it. Whoa! This thing is this thing is so cool. Drive it over the dump truck. Keep driving it. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm not joking. I didn't think I was going to have any fun with this, but I am having more than my life with this. Seems like it. Okay, then just... You can also just manually scoop it up, because that works, too. Just going to move it back. Is there like a way to lock the scoop up? I'm actually not sure if there's a way to lock it. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I might as well rip up some cardboard for you guys so you can see me scooping it up. Today is May 10th, 2023. The day I got the man TGA dump truck, this excavator, the conveyor belt, and the Land Rover. But I'm still going to write the date on it anyway, if I remember. Well, there's no way to lock this. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, I love this thing so much.
Let me get the camera over here so you can see some of the action that's going on. Angle just doesn't really work. In Oops, so I dropped the camera there. Oops, my bad. All right, let me just put the camera here. There we go. It seems to work. I need to load it up more. Pull this paper. I'll put it on the conveyor belt. Instead of using this, put it on the conveyor belt. Look at that. You can even lift the wheels off the ground and it'll still stay. See, I'll show you. See when it's like right at the dump truck, you can just lift the wheels off the ground. <laughs> so you got a little bit of ground clearance. And it and it's still pretty sturdy. Even when you do turn the crank, it's still really sturdy. I don't know if anybody knows that, but if they do, then boo me. But just thought I would share that with you just in case. here so I can get all the cool shots. Yeah, just throw it in the back of it. Because <laughs> why not? Oh, all this paper down here is stuck. There we go. I'll fix it. It's still stuck. <laughs> I love this thing. Uh, is there any more paper? Okay, so we got a little checklist here. 2022. Yeah, we already, already have that. Destroy. Twenty three minutes. That has it feels like it's been a lot longer than that. Alright, now I need to do my checklist here. So now I can check one of these off. Got that one. Let's see which other ones did we get? Okay, finally I have this dump truck. Uh, I know the conveyor belt's on some page. I just don't Oh here it is. Got that one. No fire vehicles right now. I almost bought a camper, but it's not even that interesting. Yay, the Land Rover. Right, let's rip all these boxes up, because it's fun. Oh, we can load it onto the conveyor belt with this.
Yeah, we're just, we can't put it on the conveyor belt. It'll dump it all everywhere, but we can drive it over to the truck and dump it in there. Well, it's not going to work over there. Yeah, it's just kind of fun throwing it in there anyway, but... stuck again. Great, all this is stuck. Now we can actually, you know what's cool, I already showed you this, but um, we're going to hook it up to the dump truck so that it can tow it away. And then that's all connected to the dump truck. And what's cool is I think you can still, you can still lift it. So you can unload the dump truck and load it somewhere else. That's okay, that's actually pretty cool. Then we're gonna back it up. We just got no. This is a wide turn. We gotta move it over here. That's not how it's gonna work in real life, though. Okay, there. No, not it this way. Ah. And I think I'll end it.